A very good morning to everyone. We welcome you all to the Bihar State Knowledge Session. Thank you so much for your presence today at Bihar State Knowledge Session during the ongoing World Food India 2023. We welcome you all. I welcome Sri Sandeep uh, Pondrick, the additional Chief Secretary, Department of Industries, Government of Bihar. Sri Kundan Kumar, Resident Commissioner, Bihar. Sri Vivek Ranjan Maitre, Director Food Processing, Department of Industries, Government of Bihar, on the, on the dais. Now, as we move ahead, I would also request to invite Sri Ranjit Kohli, CEO and Executive Director, Britannia Industries Limited, <laughs> Sri Amit Sarogi, Founder, Anmol Feeds Private Limited, Sri Abhishek Kumar, Director, Lavanya Food and Mujafarpur Biofuels Private Limited, Sri Suresh Prashad Chaudhary, Managing Director, Rakesh Masala Private Limited. And Sri Abhishek Kumar, sorry, Sri Abhishek Kumar, Director, Lavanya Food and Mujafarpur Biofuels Private Limited. Thank you. Thank you, sir. As we move ahead, I request Sri Vivek Ranjan Maitre, Director, Food Processing, Department of Industries, Government of Bihar, for his welcome address. Sir. Good morning, everyone. First of all, a hearty welcome to all the business delegates which are present in the knowledge session of Bihar. Uh, here in this session, we would like to apprise you of all the investment opportunities uh, in the food processing sector and why Bihar should be the next, uh, your next uh, investment destination. Bihar is one of the largest producers of food crops in the country with a population of nearly 140 million in the state and another two, uh, 260 million in the surrounding area. Bihar provides a market base of, of approximately 400 million people. Additionally, the state's strategic location on the dedicated freight corridor, Asian Highway 2, and the national highways connecting to the northeastern parts of the country, Bihar becomes the perfect, uh, perfect place to set up your next food unit. Bihar is, has emerged as a leader in the production of fruits and vegetables. Its rich flora and uh, microclimatic regions are responsible for the uh, best quality horticultural crops grown in the state. Its pool of skilled and semi-skilled workers also provides you with man, uh, advantages in manufacturing cost. Today, we will give you a detailed presentation on the investor or investment opportunities in the state, and I invite you all to participate keenly in this session and benefit from it. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you so much, sir. Now it's time for a short video on growth journey of Bihar, please. Nestled in the heart of India's East, Bihar stands tall as a land of rich history, vibrant culture and abundant resources. But it's more than just a state. It's a thriving market of over 140 million potential consumers eagerly awaiting what you have to offer. Investors, welcome to Bihar, the land of limitless opportunities. Unleash the unmatched potential, guided by policies designed by keeping you in mind. When it comes to policies, Bihar means business. Setting up your business here is effortless. Our investor-friendly policies ensure seamless online processes, from land allocation to licenses, all supported by a dedicated investment promotion team. 
The government of Bihar believes in your success story. Our incentive under the Bihar Industrial Investment Promotion Policy 2016 are unparalleled. Get back up to 150% of your investment as incentive in 5 years. Paid on time, every time. With 3000 acres of industrial land, 75 well-equipped industrial areas and a plentiful water supply, Bihar provides the perfect canvas for your venture. But wait, there's more. Imagine 20 lakh square feet of plug-and-play industrial sheds at just rupees 4 to 8 per square feet. Ready for immediate use, these sheds are tailored for high priority sectors as per industry need. Our key sectors, leather and textile, food processing, biofuels, general manufacturing and IT, IT enabled services and ESDM hold immense potential. With our strategic location and robust transportation network, Bihar is the ideal hub for manufacturing and logistics. Our support doesn't end there. We invest in our workforce, offering up to six months of customized training for industries. Bihar boasts a vibrant MSME ecosystem, winning the second prize in the National MSME Award 2022 for outstanding contributions. We proudly hold the number one position in Z certification of MSMEs in the country. Startups, we have B-Hub, our co-working space, where institutions like IIT and CIMP provide mentorship, nurturing your ideas into reality. Join us in Bihar, where every investment is a step towards a brighter future. Your success story begins here, in a land brimming with potential, promise and endless opportunities. For more information on how you can start your journey with us, visit our website or contact the Department of Industries Bihar. Invest in Bihar. Your journey to success starts now. The video speaks it all about the uh, growth of industrial sector in the state. Now I would like to inv invite Sri Sandeep Pondrik, the additional Chief Secretary, Department of Industries, Government of Bihar, for his address and presentation on opportunities in food sector in Bihar. Sir. Good morning, everyone. First of all, a very warm welcome uh, to this state session. Uh, you, have, you are sparing time for us, so thank you. Uh, my colleagues on the dais, Mr. Kundan Kumar and uh, Mr. Vivek Ranjan Maitre, investors who are already present in Bihar, Mr. Kohli, Mr. Suresh, and Mr. Chaudhary. So all of us and many more who are here in the hall. What I would like to do is to give a presentation which is a bit detailed. So it may be, I hope it is not boring, but uh, a long presentation. And then I will, we will request the people who are already in the state to narrate their experiences of doing business in Bihar. So let us start. What are we trying to do? Bihar, everybody knows, is a land of history. When you say land of history, the Nalanda University, Lord Buddha attained his supreme knowledge in uh, Bihar, in Bodh Gaya. Jainism, it has a very sacred place in Bihar. So we are a land of history from ancient times. And what are we trying to do? In addition to being land of history, we want to be land of industry. So that's the transformation we are trying to do. Now, what Bihar has done in last few years? These are the four points. There are many more, but I'm just mentioning four points. First, our state GST, uh, state GDP growth rate has always been higher than the national average for last many years. 
as you can see the last published growth rate of 21-22 BR scored 10.9 while the national growth rate was 8.7 and the same stories so basically Bihar is growing faster than the country nationally uh, on an average basis one of the best performing states in MSME we are t as the video showed we got second prize last year in MSMEs we have a very good MSME ecosystem and in the infrastructure we have added 300,000 kilometers of roads in 10 years and our power consumption has grown from 700 megawatt to 7000 megawatt so a tenfold increase in 10 years so what I am trying to basically say that Bihar is growing in terms of every aspect of development and you should become part of the story glimpses some glimpses of the new Bihar so before going to this I would like to know how many of you have heard of Bihar in any context only only so many I, I know like everybody must have heard of Bihar how many of you have been to Bihar mm, yeah 30 40 percent people but uh, the thing is that though you may not have been to Bihar, everybody has an impre impression and a perception of Bihar. You may not have heard of all the states in the country, but you definitely have heard of Bihar. So, uh, what I am trying to say is that the new things which are there in the state, you may not have heard about them. So, this is a new marine drive, what we also call it marine drive in Patna. As you can see, this is a beautiful place, especially for hanging out in the evening. Uh, this is the new infrastructure which has been created in last 10 to 15 years. Because industry is not only industrial areas, industry is the whole ecosystem including infrastructure, urban life, facilities, amenities. So I am just showing a few photographs of the new infrastructure of Bihar. Bihar Museum, one of the finest museums in the world and I am consciously saying world because I have been to some of the best museums in the world and this definitely is one of them. So if you are ever in Patna, spend at least 2-3 hours to visit this museum. Uh, three, four slides on industrial growth, especially in the food processing sector. So, Mr. Kohli is here, he is starting a new plant in near Patna. Uh, Pepsi is there, Coke is there, lot of biofuel plants, uh, ethanol plants. Why Bihar? You have, uh, you have investment opportunities in all the states and obviously from a business sense, you will consider all of them. But why Bihar? And before uh, taking this question, I will uh, take the question of why not Bihar? And many of you will have that question in mind, but probably will be too decent to ask. So I will address that question from the beginning. The biggest challenge of, I am I'm in, in this job for last one and a half years and the biggest challenge I find of attracting investment in Bihar is there are three things, perception, perception and perception. So the only reason I find people don't consider Bihar is their perception of Bihar because everything else is there. And let me assure you that Bihar is not what you have heard in the movies, what you have seen in the movies or what you have seen in Khaki or whatever, Gangajal or some other movies. Bihar is not that. Whoever has been to Bihar, uh, they will tell you that those are just movies and TV series. That's not the real Bihar. Bihar is definitely different from them. I'm addressing this question because many people either don't ask or ask in the last that, okay, baki sab to theek hai. what about law and order? Bihar's law and order or crime situation is as good or as bad as any other state. I have been in Delhi for last seven years and it's definitely better than Delhi. So, uh, and these are the some images of the units which are already running in Bihar. So, 
if they are running in Bihar and they are made investments, big investments, definitely they are finding Bihar to be an attractive destination. These are all units which have come in last two, three years. Uh, Mr. Patel is here. Uh, he just got his ethanol plant of 300 KLPD, which is a huge ethanol plant inaugurated last week by the Honorable Chief Minister. So, I think when you look at an investment destination, you and this, this is a knowledge I have gained from you, means the investors, because I am not a businessman, so I can't really uh, say these things. So, this is what I have heard from businessmen. What are, what are the things or what are the points which you look at when you are looking for an investment uh, in a new situation, in a new project? First is market. Second is raw materials, whether the raw materials are available nearby or not. Third is infrastructure. And fourth and perhaps the last is incentives. Because one very uh, good investor told me that incentives alone don't decide our uh, investment. They affect, but not they are not enough. So that's why I put them in the last. Let us start with market. Bihar, uh, for, for those of you who have not been to Bihar or who don't know uh, where exactly it is situated, it is bordering Nepal on the north, northeastern, uh, northeastern states on the east, Bengal, Jharkhand, very strategic location if you want to sell your product in the eastern India. Bihar doesn't only have a market of 13 crore Bihari people, people who reside in Bihar, but also about 35 to 40 crore people who are in these countries or states which are adjoining Bihar. So you can cater to a market of about one third of India's population if you put up your unit in Bihar. Uh, two things which are very important. First, the market is growing for two reasons. First, we have a high state G uh, GDP rate as I said in the beginning. That means that the buying power is increasing and the market is growing and it will keep growing. And second, we have a growing population. Now, growing population is may not be a good thing uh, on different parameters, but from market perspective, it is definitely a good thing. So there is a growing population with higher income, higher purchase power, and that's why you have a big market in Bihar and growing market in Bihar. India's uh, contribution in the food processing sector uh, with a uh, CAGR of uh, 9.97, roughly 10%, it has grown from 1.34 lakh crore in 14-15 to about 2.37. Uh, but Bihar also has grown from about 3 billion US dollars market to about 6 billion. So, uh, as I said, uh, very fast growing market and a big market. Food pro uh, processing sector in all sectors, Bihar is growing. So, these slides are just showing that be it agro products like rice, bran, uh, maize, or beverages, packaged drinking water or biscuits, confectionery, everything as you see the uh, table or the graphs show that the market is growing year on year. Same for dairy, edible oil, spices, sugar is more or less stable, uh, that's good for health. Chocolate, food products, food supplements, now growing market again. So this was about market. Bihar is a big market, huge market, growing market and that's why every food processing industry who wants to uh, sell in the eastern part of the country or export using the eastern ports should put up their uh, units in Bihar. Now second, the raw material base, second requirement of food processing industry. So this slide basically shows which are the four uh, sectors where you can put up your units. So it can be either warehousing or cold storage. So the logistics side, it can be in processing, 
it can be in grading and packaging or it can be in distribution and marketing so in all these products you can be at any place of the supply chain as far as raw material is concerned bihar is one of means in top 10 in a lot of things so we are the largest producer of lychee in the country i hope you have tested the shahi lychee of muzaffarpur which is the best lychee uh, perhaps in the world uh, and a gi tech thing uh, gi tech product but it, it is so we are the biggest uh, maize production 35 lakh tons huge maize production mangoes one of the best mangoes malda mangoes potato ok vegetables wheat uh, and rice so bihar has huge production of food grains or cereals fruits and vegetables so a big raw material base is available in the state uh, this slide is showing the clusters what we see as clusters so as you can see the two clusters cluster 1 and 2 they are basically for cereals or food grains so we have two clusters where rice and wheat is produced in plenty and if you intend to use uh, put up a unit which uses either rice or wheat as a raw material these will be good places to put up a unit then we have a makhana cluster fruits and vegetable cluster so we have different geographies within the state which produce different kind of raw materials now uh, as you can see that the uh, food grains or the uh, crops they are not only being grown but they are increasing in terms of productivity and acreage so uh, food grain production is about 163 lakh ton with 1920 increased to 185 lakh ton in uh, 2122 so fruit production about 50 lakh ton vegetables again huge so we have all of these things in huge quantity available within the state uh, as you can see a bit more details so paddy uh, from 69 uh, i would say about 6.9 million tons so about 7 million tons to 7.7 so roughly 77 lakhs tons of paddy 35 lakh ton of maize one of the biggest producer of maize bihar pulses oil seeds wheat huge quantity of wheat then fruits banana guava lychee mango all of these are not only being produced but they are being produced in huge quantity and as you can see on the bottom we are in top 5 producers in many of these things uh similar to animal husbandry fisheries and dairy so uh, eggs meat fish milk all of them growing and a huge quantities as you can see 300 crore eggs are produced uh, in bihar meat in uh, about 4 lakh uh, tons of meat fish uh, not only these products can be used for domestic market but also for export and especially export for uh, middle east or eastern countries we were in uh, uae last two weeks ago and especially with india's uh, mou with uae and other middle east middle eastern countries bihar can be one of the best situated export hubs uh, for export to uh, these countries some of the gi tech products of bihar so from mango bagalpuri jardalu mango to katarni rice to magahi pan shahi lychee uh, makhana next year is has been declared by government of india as to be a year of makhana and uh, do you know that 85% of makhana in the country is produced in bihar so we are basically the sole producer of makhana in the country and makhana Uh, has been discovered or rather rediscovered as one of the most nutritious snack now in europe and usa so high protein very low fat and other uh, problems so growing and big market of makana uh, in uh, in various countries 
सो दिस वॉज अबाउट रॉ मटीरियल सीमा एक पानी बोलना नहीं बोलते दे दो After market and uh, uh, raw materials, let us talk about infrastructure and human resources, because that is the third important pillar or requirement. So, Bihar is offering two kind of. I think it's a very important thing. If some of you are seriously considering to put up a unit in Bihar, uh, this slide is very important. We are offering not only land, which all states are offering. so we are offering land in 75 industrial areas at a reasonable cost but more importantly we are offering for food processing sector plug and play infrastructure so basically we have built about 24 lakh square feet of industrial sheds uh, each shed costing about 15 crores inr and we are offering them at a very very nominal rent of 4 to 8 rupees per square feet for high priority sectors and food processing is one of the high priority sectors so you don't have to invest in land or building you can start your food processing unit if you can uh, if you can do it in a prefabricated shed immediately uh, so these are the two things the applications are online you can apply from anywhere in the world so you don't have to visit our offices or Uh, patna or anywhere in bihar to apply and we allocate the land and plug and play shed in one week so every tuesday we held a meet hold a meeting where we allocate these uh, we dispose of or we decide these applications so if you apply today within one week you will get the land or shed if you are found eligible as per the norms these are some of the rates so as you can see most of the land is between about 50 to 60 70 lakhs per acre uh, some of the industrial areas which are in urban are expensive uh, but most of the land and it's as i said in the beginning about 3000 acres of land is available so you can get a 50 acre plot a 100 acre plot or a, or a 10000 square feet plot whatever is the requirement you can get the land within a week these are the uh, plug and play uh, geography uh, where they are situated so in 13 places about 24 lakh square feet of plug and play they are all over the state as you can see uh, if you want to uh, sell your product to nepal we have a Uh, plug and play infrastructure very near the nepal border as you can see in paschim champaran that's bordering nepal also in purnia again bordering nepal so we have uh, plug and play infrastructure and land in different geographies these are the images of the sheds being built and ready so the image on the right is a readily built shed the average area is roughly 50000 square feet of uh, shed and you can get a part of it also you don't have to necessarily take the whole shed you can take 10000 or 20000 or whatever is your requirement the image on the left the shows the sheds under construction so these are g plus 2 sheds ground plus 2 under construction all of these sheds will be ready by december some of the sheds already operational all have been built in last one year so this is being used for textile apparel stitching we are also providing in industrial areas common facilities like canteen crash so basically social infrastructure if required uh, if uh, means wherever the, it is required the glimpses of industrial areas some of the industrial areas of bihar so this is as you can say uh, it's in uh, one of the industrial areas
Uh, one particular infrastructure I would like to talk about is the mega food park being developed under the mega food park scheme of government of India in Muzaffarpur. Total land of about 144 acres. Uh, the total project cost is about 180 crores. And uh, so this is all the uh, common infrastructure being built in including core facilities like dry warehouses, cold storages, banana ripening chambers, uh, lychee pack houses kind of things and the uh, uh, non-core infrastructure. <coughs> and it also has primary processing centers tagged to this uh, mega food park for primary processing before taking the product to the mega food park. So this is the image right now, uh, it's under development, the core infrastructure has been built, the main trunk roads, drainage, etc. Some of the units have already started uh, in, the, uh, in the mega food park. So as you can see, uh, 5000 empty of uh, warehouses being built, uh, cold storage for onion, uh, potato, uh, different kind of things, uh, including a food testing lab. It's very well uh, situated in Muzaffarpur, which is uh, about two hours from Patna or two and a half hours if you go on a busy day. And uh, then you can also sell, send your product to Nepal or other parts of the uh, country or other countries. Uh, we are also developing export infrastructure uh, in Bihar, Welcome so this is an irradiation center. Mega food park in Muzaffarpur, okay, Bihar. So let us first a see a video. initiative in the field of food production by Department of Industries, Government of Bihar. This mega food park is spread over a total of 144 acres of land. 102 acres of land is available for long-term lease for food processing units out of which lease of 25 acres of land has already been allotted to various units. 77 acres of land is still available for lease at normal rates. Apply soon and set up your food processing unit. Lots ranging from 5,000 square feet to 10 acres of area are available in this mega food park. One can apply for land online through the Integrated Allotment Management System of Bihar Industrial Area Development Authority. Leveraging the prompt services of Biada, one can get the lease of land within 7 working days. This mega food park has 24 by 7 water availability and continuous power supply through a dedicated feeder. The road and drainage lines have been completely prepared. The construction work of sewage and storm water channels is in full swing. In addition to this basic infrastructure, several common facility centres are also taking shape in this mega food park, facilities like cold storage for onion and potato of 5,000 metric ton each will be available. Banana ripening chamber of 5,000 metric ton capacity and a lychee back house of 6 metric tons per batch are also part of this integrated facility. Two dry warehouse with the capacity of 5,000 metric ton are also part of common facilities. To promote MSMEs, pre-built sheds are also available at attractive monthly rentals. This mega food park is not limited to just advanced facilities and technologies. It is also about changing lives, with the potential to provide employment to more than 25,000 people. Located in Muzaffarpur, Bihar, this mega food park has the capacity to supply food products to the markets of the state, country and abroad. This mega food park is more than just a facility. It is a symbol of progress, a golden opportunity for industrial development and testament to the commitment of the Department of Industries, Government of Bihar. Welcome to building the future of the food processing industry. Welcome to the mega food park of Bihar. The changing shape of the future of industry. Our state, our Bihar. With this video, we presented the mega food park. Now talking about the export infrastructure, so the state is building a radiation center. It's almost ready, likely to be start, likely to start in December, uh, so that wherever there is a requirement of radiation, irradiation of products before being exported, it can be done. 
uh, it has irradiation facilities for lot of products including agro products fresh fruits uh, vegetables spices etc uh, we are also building pack houses uh, again for export purpose so that the fru uh, the products can be graded sorted uh, again likely to be ready the first pack house likely to be ready by december so both these things will be ready in december now uh, in infrastructure is also connectivity so uh, bihar has three airports within the state patna gaya and darbhanga and four airports adjoining the states so from delhi you have 13 direct flights every day to patna so you have uh, good air connectivity to uh, bihar uh, roadways uh, quite good uh, we have i will show uh, later a slide showing all the four lane and six lane highways and a very good railway network this is a, a slide which shows the core network of highways so four lane and six lane highways as you can see crisscrossing the state from north to south east to west a lot of highways are there so connectivity is not a problem uh, the next thing is water now many states are facing a problem of water fortunately bihar is not one of them uh, we have enough water or sometimes more than enough water so as you can see there are so many rivers uh, going through the state including the sacred ganges that water is not a problem in bihar and uh, the water level is quite high in, in fact in north bihar you can get water as high as 15 feet 20 feet below the ground level so water again not a problem in bihar uh, as i said earlier a very uh, strong msme base uh, we won the second prize in national msme award uh, right now we are first in terms of jet certifications uh, a certification criteria which has developed by msme ministry uh, for certifying units micro and small units uh, then we are as a state we are giving a lot of funds to micro and small industries and in last uh, three four years we have given funds for developing micro enterprises to more than 26,000 people. Uh, we are one of the best states in uh, centrally led schemes, PMEGP and PMFME. PMFME, as you know, Prime Minister's scheme for formalization of informal uh, enterprises in food processing. Uh, Bihar is going to get tomorrow the Outstanding Performance Award uh, by the hands of on the, uh, Honorable President, so we are doing well in government scheme as well as the MSME ecosystem. I am saying this because this helps in putting up a unit. A ecosystem is very important if you decide to put up a unit. Uh, human resources, we have the best of educational institutions, IIT, IIM, NIFT, NIT, Triple IT, Agriculture Universities, uh, Allied Universities, engineering colleges so we have all kind of educational institutions and not only this but a lot of students from Bihar are graduating from outside the state and especially after covid they want to work in the state so you have a great pool of skilled human resources at all levels which you can use for your industry uh, now coming to the last pillar what are the incentives if you decide to put up a unit what are the incentives so uh, there are a few uh, i will only talk about a few major incentives first is interest subvention which basically means that state government will pay the interest uh, what you take for putting up the unit so if the interest rate is say 10 percent then state government will pay the whole interest if the state, uh, interest rate is more than 10 percent then you just have to pay the balance above 10 up to 10 state government will pay for micro and small units this cap is 12 percent so for micro and small we pay uh, in overall uh, there is a high uh, there is a cap of 20 crores per unit in this and if you generally take in terms of capital investment it works out to be 25 to 30 percent of your capital costs so that the government will give as an interest subvention 
uh, in terms of taxes there are two incentives 100 percent of the state gst reimbursement so whatever you sell in the uh, sell in the state uh, you get 100 percent gst and uh, for micro and small the capping capping is 130 percent and uh, electricity duty so in power tariff you get electricity duty not the tariff but only the duty <coughs> the third important thing is employment cost subsidy so the esi and epf for male 50 percent for females 100 percent is paid by the the employer's contribution is paid by the state or rather reimbursed by the state government so this is a uh, employment part subsidy. Uh, few more uh, exemption from land conversion fee if you decide to take a private land, uh, skill development subsidy uh, up to 20,000 rupees. This is a one time subsidy for skilling a person and exemption for stamp duty when you go for registration. So, these are smaller aspects. Uh, what are the focus areas we think as a state or as a department? First is rice, rice mills or rice related uh, units because we have a huge rice or paddy uh, raw material base. Uh, there are already 63 rice mills, huge big rice mills we are talking about. Then wheat bed unit, uh, maize, we are one of the biggest maize uh, producers in the country or rather the biggest. <coughs> And uh, in last one year, 14 bioethanol plants, which I showed the images earlier, they have been put up in the state. Most of them will use maize as a raw material. Then fruits and vegetables, again a focus area, uh, lychee, mango, banana, any related unit, food processing unit, uh, then uh, vegetables, onion, potato, chilies, oil seeds. And then last but not, not the least, the livestock. So meat, milk, egg, fish, uh, it can, Bihar can be a big uh, export base for uh, Middle Eastern countries or other countries for these products. Uh, ni certain niche products, so Makana as I said, almost every. Uh, 85 percent of makana is produced in Bihar. So, honey, raw honey, we are one of the biggest honey producers in the country uh, and then seeds. So, these are certain uh, niche products uh, which are being produced. So, you can, uh, if we talk in terms of supply chain, you can invest in processing, cold chain, biofertilizer. So, there are different, as I said earlier, there are different points in the supply chain where you can invest and all of them are eligible for incentives and getting all the uh, land and other infrastructure support which we uh, want to provide. These are the major investors which are already there uh, from Pepsi to Adani to Godrej Agrovet, Parle. So, all of these are already there. So, what this is the concluding side uh, what we are trying what we are offering we are offering land and plug and play uh, at a reasonable cost. Uh, whoever wants to visit before taking a decision, we are there to support you. Just give us a call or an email, drop an email and we will support you, guide you, host you for exploring the opportunities. <coughs> All the NOCs, clearances are single window actually. We don't, we are, we are not saying that they are, they are actually single window. So we, I hold a meeting every week at my level to see that NOCs and clearances are not delayed by any department uh, and then training support. So these are some of the things which we are offering if you decide to put up a unit in Bihar. Uh, we are hosting a Bihar Business Connect that is a global investor summit on 13th and 14th of December in Patna. I invite you on behalf of government of Bihar to come join this summit and also uh, explore the opportunities in the Bihar at the same time. So, we will be happy to uh, if you join. Thank you so much for listening to me patiently. Thank you.
thank you so much sir for your detailed presentation on opportunities in food processing sector in bihar now it's time to hear from the companies who already have their presence in the state i would like to invite mr ranjit kohli ceo and the executive director of britannia industries limited to share his experience in the state a very good afternoon to everybody and uh, thank you for having uh, me here uh, first i must congratulate sandeep ji and uh, the entire bihar state i mean very very impressive uh, presentation lot of things i i was not aware of myself and i as a investor can as behalf of you know britannia can go back and say that i'm going back very assured and very satisfied that we made a very good decision of investing in bihar to so, compliments to you and your state and the team as well uh, just a very quick view of what britannia is a 100 years old company i don't believe that we are 100 years old i believe we are 100 years young company we've just got started while we're there in biscuits we're there in bread i don't know whether you know that first company to introduce sliced bread in india in 1954 was britannia uh, we've got cake ras croissant and we also launched makhana recently and uh, which is in the better snack co and we are also exporting it to middle east there as well so there's a lot of connect that we already have with bihar uh as india is one of the largest baking companies we do more than 15 billion packs a year which means for every indian every month there's a britannia product so we are the highest uh, penetrated uh, in terms of uh, distribution as well uh, very quickly we we also export and i think bihar will be a great way to look at export as well uh, from that perspective uh, which is to more than 80 countries is where uh, export happens um, that that's, that's one but our relationship with bihar and uh, you know why i am standing here uh, is i think bihar clearly is one of the largest states and you can you've seen the numbers there and it plays a very significant role in you know the development of the country itself uh, there and uh, uh, sandeep ji kind of shared the four areas why as investors you look at it well as raw material you talked about uh, incentives and i can tell you every state here is in providing you incentives uh we as britannia we have more than 90 co-packers was plants put together across india middle east uh, kenya everything but our own facilities are only in 18 which manufacturing and this is our second plant already in bihar so imagine 18 facilities we could have gone one in every state but for us to invest the second plant already we have the first plant in hajipur and very happy to share that our second plant has already started commencement in the month of september sir and and the team here and very very happy to share here with everybody this is in bahita and uh, just to share with you this is one of the largest green field for us uh, for britannia as well uh, more than 20 250 crores of investments over 20 acres of land three big biscuits line good day mari tiger we already have another plant in hajipur uh, this will cater to only 78% of the production that happens in bihar so that means we need to keep investing uh, more there overall production cap capability is more than 67000 tons but what's more important for our state is that you know we've got a very good uh, skilled labor as well as labor available more than 1000 uh, plus people will get employed directly but importantly is when industry like britannia or coca cola i used to work with coca cola earlier and and i know that we've got a plant there as well uh, earlier uh, is the ancestry which will come along as well you know when you set up a plant you provide not only direct employment but lot of indirect employment as well and that is something that you know uh, we look to provide as well uh, but importantly i just want to share few things and pointers that you know this venture in bihar would have not been possible and genuinely i'm saying this had it not been the tremendous support of the state and single window clearance i hear and i meet lot of ministers and industry guys a lot of people say i genuinely and my team really felt it in bihar we got from the date of application to the date of uh, commencement to gear in less than 2 weeks doesn't happen in less than 2 weeks in 6 months our power everything was set up in the plant and it's one of the fastest plant in less than 18 months our entire plant is up and running no disturbance nothing of course you mentioned some movies and all everybody had that perception but i am standing here same in bihar of uh, behalf of britannia industries we as a industry feel very very confident of being in this state we invested a second plant here already Uh, and we genuinely believe that the state infrastructure is very right and the uh, place to where we invested 
the most important decision for any head of business uh, like me if I have to make investments in a plant is not just the incentive, it is about the consumption that's also happening in that state or not. For us, the biggest consumption, it is the fastest growing state. That itself means that a lot of my product that I'm going to make in that state will get consumed in the state itself. So that gives you a lot of confidence that why not invest behind a state which is already going ahead of this GDP of the country. And we at Britannia feel really, really honored and happy to be here. And uh, I, I'm not here to propagate or advertise here Bihar, but I genuinely feel that we're in a good space. I'm going back myself very assured and happy being in Bihar and, and looking forward to putting up more facilities and you know uh, plants there going forward as well. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Now, I would like to invite Mr. Amit Sarogi, founder of Anmol Feeds Private Limited, to share his experience, please. Good afternoon. First of all, I would like to thank uh, uh, industry department, Bihar government, who has given me this opportunity to represent Bihar as son of soil in this August forum of World Food India 2023. Uh, we, we, have, uh, we are doing business in Bihar since the year 2000. We, we are, when we set up our unit in Muzaffarpur, Bela industrial area in the year 2000, we were the only two units running in that uh, particular area. And from then in 2023, in that, that same Bela industrial area, uh, there are more than 800 running units and there is no space left. When we started, the land price was 5 lakh rupees per acre. There was no taker. Right now the land price is 4 crore per acre and there are still lot of takers. So that by, see, by market dynamics and economics, we can always make out that what is the market situation. So this says that what is, see, as a businessman, uh, uh, the first thing what comes to any business is that uh, we go to a particular area or a particular state where there is a lot of potential in terms of consumers, then you have uh, raw material. So especially in food processing, there is uh, ample amount of cheap uh, raw material available in Bihar and we have consumer market of 14 crore people in Bihar and what we have seen, we have a uh, feed unit in Muzaffarpur also and we have feed unit in Lucknow. But half of the UP we are covering from Muzaffarpur unit. Why? Because raw material wise, Muzaffarpur is a raw material and freight wise, logistics is a very important factor. So freight wise, Muzaffarpur is a better location to cater to Gorakhpur, um, Guwahati, Siliguri, then I, I set up a unit in Guwahati and I set up a, a, a unit in Muzaffarpur. Every way Muzaffarpur is a better location or Bihar is a better location uh, when you, I'm, I'm talking in terms of uh, feed business. So, uh, so, uh, so we are in Bihar since year 2000. We started our first unit in year 2000 in Bela Industrial State, Muzaffarpur. Then second unit we put up in the year 2005. Third unit we put up in 2018. In between, we have invested in other states. We have two units in West Bengal, one unit in Jammu. As ours, ours is a freight sensitive business similar to any other food processing business. Uh, so we have set up multiple units in multiple sp uh, states, but our maximum number of units are in Bihar and we, you must have seen that um, uh, mega food park uh, video and you must be seeing a single shed every time in that uh, mega food park that 
that uh, warehouse we have built it in that mega food park and we are investing 30 crore rupees in uh, setting up a, a floating fish first floating fish feed plant uh, in 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 bihar so uh, so uh, that's what i want to say like I, I have genuine love for bihar because i'm son of the soil and i'll tell you uh, in poultry feed broiler feed business you will be happy to know that muzaffarpur district is number one broiler feed producing district in india and this has been successful because of efforts of uh, help of uh, bihar government industry department one thing is that we have done business in multiple states we never had to struggle for any uh, incentive or any government license in state of bihar other states we have seen that incentives don't come on time you have to follow up uh, but here there is a set process if you are uh, giving all the papers on time you get your money on time so uh, that way uh, we have found that uh, and uh, uh, undoubtedly uh, if we study all the other states um, uh, uh, industrial policy uh, bihar has the best uh, uh, industrial policy in food processing as of now. So, uh, we, we have more plans to after this 30 crore investment which we are waiting for MOFP clearance. Otherwise, if this MOFP clearance was not an hindrance, my, my plant would have been started in this uh, February. We built the warehouse, then we realized ki that in, under the scheme, you cannot apply if you you have started uh, the business so we stopped it and then we so uh, i think once the this comes we will be able to uh, get the plant running in uh, next eight months i will like to say one thing about perception i'm doing business in bihar since the year 2000 so a uh, 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 ground situation has in 2000 ground situation was completely different today ground situation is completely different it is as good as any other state like up west bengal we do business everywhere uh, jharkhand so the ground situation in terms of law and order and other things is as good as anywhere else uh, this i'm i'm not uh, i'm saying because we have felt it this way and especially from five last five six seven years we have faced no issues at all when it comes to law and order now i'll i'll tell you why muzaffarpur district is number one in uh, broiler feed processing because of uh, we as unmole feeds we always uh, worked hard in changing the perception of bihar any any unit who wants to set any feed person i have been the chairman of feed association of india so anyone wants to set up a unit in eastern region uh, they will contact me whether boss i should set up in varanasi or siliguri then i would call them to my office i'll explain them that you set it up in muzaffarpur and surrounding area where you'll get better maize you'll get better logistics you i think out of these 40 units uh, 22 units I have personally spoken to the promoters or the executives of the company and, and if you talk to all of them, they all are very happy. Matlab they say ki yaar, tune to hamari life badal di. Hum, hum yaha silly gudi jate jaha makka nahi hai, Gorakhpur jate makka nahi hai. Everybody was thinking that we have to sell in Bihar, we'll, uh, we'll produce at the peripheral and then sell in Bihar because of the perception so i i can assure you that i i can assure you that there is um, um so uh, uh, thank you uh, thank you everyone and we 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 have more plans to invest in bihar in one milk processing plant one solvent plant this will come once we are over with our this uh, fish feed uh, plant production thank you thank you Thank you so much, sir. Uh, now I would like to invite Mr. 
सुरेश प्रसाद चौधरी द मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर राकेश मसाला प्राइवेट लिमिटेड टू शेयर हिज इन्वेस्टमेंट जर्नी इन द स्टेट नमस्ते मेरा नाम एस पी चौधरी है और मैं बिहार से ही हूँ हमने 1975 से अपना बिजनेस स्टार्ट किया था बिहार से ही तो कंपनी का नाम राकेश मसाला प्राइवेट लिमिटेड है और मैं उस कंपनी का दो क्लास शिक्षा पास मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर हूँ हमारा तीन यूनिट बिहार में है जैसे दो हाजीपुर में है और एक आपको पटना सिटी में है और हम लोग का और यूपी में भी यूनिट है हमने अभी ये जगह दो एकड़ हमने जगह हमको मिला है यहाँ पर हाजीपुर में पहले भी हमारा जगह वहाँ आधा एकड़ है दो एकड़ जगह हमको पंद्रह दिन में लौट हो गया था जबकि बहुत मुश्किल था पहले अभी बहुत अच्छा हमको लग रहा है सर का आज बात सुन करके मुझे लगा कि वाकई में बिहार में इंडस्ट्री लगाना बहुत ही आसान हो गया अब मेरा भी सोच ऐसा है हमने पहले भी बात किया है <coughs> हमने एक मसाला का यूनिट लगाया है आपको जो कि नॉर्थ इंडिया में उसको कर्जनिक प्लांट बोलते हैं तो नोट हम लोग 30 डिग्री माइनस में मसाला पीसते हैं पहले हम लोग 20 लाख के मशीन से मसाला पीसते थे अभी 8 करोड़ के मशीन से हम लोग मसाला पीसते हैं वो भी 8 करोड़ चौंतीस सौ पर आवर हमने एक पास्ता का प्लांट भी लगाया है जो कोई 21 करोड़ का प्लांट है जो इटली का मशीन है जो एक घंटे में बाईस किलो आपको मसाला ये पस्ता और मैक्रोनी का नाम आपने सुना होगा वो सारा उसमें आपको हम लोग बना रहे हैं और अच्छा मार्केटिंग कर रहे हैं बिहार का जहाँ तक सवाल है बिहार में लोगों के पास पैसे की कमी नहीं है बिहार में इंडस्ट्री थोड़ा कम जरूर है लेकिन बिहार में लोग अभी इंडस्ट्री आगे काफ़ी बढ़ रहा है मुझे खुशी है कि इंडस्ट्री बिहार में बढ़ रहा है वैसे बिहार में पैसे की कमी लोगों को नहीं है पैसा वहाँ इंडस्ट्री में कस्टमर की कमी नहीं है हम हम समझते हैं कि बिहार में हमारा अच्छा मार्केट है मैं समझता हूं कि हमारे ग्रुप का सेल कोई 800 करोड़ है छोटा कंपनी है और 800 करोड़ का सेल है हम लोग बहुत अच्छा काम कर रहे हैं और हम लोग आगे बहुत अच्छा काम करने के बारे में सोच रहे हैं जो कि बिहार में ही हम लोग के पास जो ये इंडस्ट्रीज एक लगी है और हमको वो जो वो मुजफ्फरपुर ज़िला मैं वो मैं मोतिहारी रोड में है जैसा कि आपको जानकारी होगी वो मुरादपुर जगह है जिधर मैं उधर का ही रहने वाला हूँ और हमने एक छोटा सा काम और भी किया है कि गांव के बच्चों को पढ़ाने का काम मैंने शुरू किया अभी जो अभी अभी हमारे यहाँ सौ रुपये महीना दे करके तीन सौ बच्चे आपको हमारे गांव में जो हमारा जन्म स्थान है वहाँ पढ़ रहे हैं और 515 बच्चे आपको कानपुर में पढ़ रहे हैं तो ये ये जो स्कूल है इसको हम हाई क्लास स्कूल कह सकते हैं मतलब महीना सिर्फ सौ रुपया ही देना है लेकिन हम गांव के बच्चों को पढ़ाते हैं और मैं छोटा सा एक और काम किया हो गांव के लोगों को जैसे गांव के आपको जो किसान है उनके लिए हम लोग ऑर्गेनिक खेती का काम एक शुरू किया है जो पाँच एकड़ में हमने शुरू कर दिया है और थोड़ा सा हमको करना है तो वो उसमें आपको बहुत ही अच्छा हो गया बहुत ही अच्छा सिस्टम हमने लगा कर ऑर्गेनिक खेती का मतलब मेरा है गांव के बच्चों को सॉरी गांव के किसान को ऑर्गेनिक खेती कैसे करना है ये समझाने की बात है जो कि फ्री हम लोग उसको समझाते हैं ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सर नाउ आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट मिस्टर रंजन केडिया founder radha krishna impex private limited for a quick uh, experience there his investment journey in the state of bihar uh, good afternoon everybody 
and uh, thank you to members on the dais for giving me this opportunity to uh, explain uh, why Bihar. Uh, I have been born, I'm born in Bihar and uh, the first uh, investment we made in the agricultural sector was probably before my birth in 1967 and we set up with a potato cold store and uh, thereafter in the year 1994 we ventured into, uh, we were the first company to venture into the export of fresh lychees from Bihar uh, to the world. So. Uh, by giving the example of lychee, I would like to tell you that uh, Bihar has got a very malleable infrastructure. You can mold it to your own requirement. That usually doesn't happen in other parts of the world. When we started lychee exports from Bihar, we did not believe ourselves that we would be able to take this lychee to the corners of the world. This, uh, in this, the people, the farmers, uh, they extended the full cooperation and we were able to do that. This further migrated into a major processing opportunity and today we have the world's largest lychee processing unit in Bihar. It is a fully automated 40 tons per hour plant and uh, today we are the largest processor of uh, lychee in the world. And uh, this can only happen if there is some work being done on the ground. So as far as perception is concerned, uh, which uh, I would like to tell you that please, there is no perception. Bihar is not an equal state, but I would tell you that in many, many areas, Bihar is easily the best state uh, for investment today. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Now, uh, I would like to invite the dignitaries for unveiling of coffee table book on food processing sector in Bihar. Thank you so much. Uh, going ahead, uh, now it's time for question uh, uh, answer from the uh, audiences. So, also? Okay, so yes, we can yes. have this. So unfortunately our time has run out of the hall. So the next session is from 1 p.m. in uh, this hall for Jammu Kashmir. So we have just uh, run out of time, but we will be available outside. Uh, if you have any question, uh, we had kept a question answer. So if you have any question, we will be there. Our team will be there. Please feel free to ask any question. Thank you. And uh, you are also welcome to visit our state pavilion in hall number six, where we are displaying all these things. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you to all the dignitaries on the dais and uh, for, to you all for participating in and uh, taking out your time. Thank you. <laughs>